That's answer the question. Confirm that one over x squared minus one is a solution to the differential equation y prime plus two x y squared equals zero a negative one to one, but not on any large interval containing negative one to one. When you graph one over x squared minus one, it looks like this one over x squared minus one. So you see at negative one right there, there's a vertical asymptote, and at positive one right there, there's a vertical asymptote. So if you try to include any interval bigger than a negative one to one, so for example, like negative two to positive two, you would have these vertical asymptotes where the function is not defined. So that's an issue, first of all. That answer is basically not on any larger interval containing negative one to one because of the vertical asymptotes that break the function into pieces. Now let's just confirm the solutions. So look at the pieces. You need y prime. So you're going to differentiate, in other words, one over x squared minus one. You can write this as a derivative with respect to x of x squared minus one raised to the negative first, and then use the power rule and the chain rule. So bring the negative one down and then x squared minus one. Up there, do negative one minus one, which is negative two, and multiply by the derivative of that x squared minus one on the inside. And clean this up a little bit. So it's gonna be negative one over, let's see, x squared minus one quantity to the positive second in the denominator now. And the derivative of x squared minus one is just two x. So lastly, you could clean this up as negative two x hanging over that x squared minus one and this whole thing here squared this way. So that's the derivative. Take a look then at the next stage. We also need y squared. So y squared would look like this, one over x squared minus one, this whole thing squared. So you're allowed to distribute the two to the denominator and numerate it independently. So you're gonna have one squared at first, which is just gonna give us one, of course. And then the bottom is gonna be x squared minus one squared. So that's gonna give us one over x squared minus one squared. So now we can plug these pieces into the differential equation. So y prime we found to be negative two x substituting for y prime and then x squared minus one quantity squared. And then you're gonna, let's see, add to it two x multiplied by the square of y, which would be one over this expression right here. So let's be careful, x squared minus one at quantity squared. And we're checking, right, does this, does this equal to zero? Well, that's negative two x over, let's see, x squared minus one quantity squared, plus distribute the two x to the one. So two x over x squared minus one quantity squared. We're checking, does this equal to zero? Oops. Well, negative 2x plus 2x there, that would give you a zero. And then in the bottom, the bottoms are the same. You would have x squared minus one squared. But of course, zero divided by whatever here is zero and zero does equal to zero, so it's true. In other words, one over x squared minus one solves the differential equation. However, if you try to do it over anything larger than negative one to positive one, then you'd be including these vertical asymptotes where the function is not defined and it doesn't work. If you like, 